ใจอ่ะทุกมองในใจอย่างนู้นว่าว่าเซตี้หรือว่ารู้ว่านะพูดเดียวหรือเจอได้เจอชมมองอย่ารู้จักรู้ทุกแม่รู้จักรู้อ่ารู้ติดคอติดคอติดเสียตัวตัวอ่ะรู้ตัวได้ยังไงจะมองจะก็มูมาเซเลบรตเขาว่าเดียวแต่เซตี้อ่ะเนี่ยเราจะรู้ว่าพวกนี้นะรู้ว่าพวกนี้เนี่ยเราจะเป็นหนึ่งเลขรู้ว่านะรู้เปย์ฮวยเดียวซิงโคลชังชาอ่าเฟรนชิพกอร์ดินนั่นแหละ我们要做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做，做
that's your count. Oh, yes, please. I'll, I'll count your mom. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll count Chinese, you do mom. Okay. Ah. E. E. Ah. R. E. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Lead us, lead us to the pavilion. Don't run with me. archway when we came in and good morning everyone how are you today good it's an honor to be here today and I'm excited to join you for this momentous occasion it's an honor to be with you here to celebrate today the grand opening of the Liu Ming Yun uh, China Friendship Garden here at Phelan Regional Park it's exciting to feel all of this energy here today and to see so many familiar faces. I want to extend a warm St. Paul welcome to our dignitaries, our friends, our visitors here from Shangsha, including Vice Chairman Li Mingyun. Good to see you, sir, of the Shangsha People's Congress and his fellow representatives from Shangsha. Thank you for being here. Please. Councilor Chong, Mayen, and the representatives from the Chinese Gen General Council in Chicago. Thank you all for being here as well. It's good to see you. <laughs> Dr. Chen of Shangsha Hunan uh, Landscaping, thank you for being here. Mr. Wei, representing Yanghu Wetlands Park, our sister park in Shangsha. And certainly, yes. <laughs> and certainly, Master Lei the sculptor of meditation here at Phelan Park, and the Martin Luther King Jr. Stone of Hope Memorial in Washington, D.C. We are very proud of you. I'd also like to welcome some of our teammates here in St. Paul who work with us tirelessly to ensure that we are building a city that works for all of us, that we are building one Minnesota. We have here uh, a few of our uh, uh, partners on the city council. Councilmember Jane Prince, it's good to see you here. Ward 7, Councilmember Jane Prince. Uh, also, Councilmember Kasim Basuri is here. Okay. Not sure where he is. We have partners from the state, including Senator uh, Paul Kerr. Thank you, sir. Representative Kali, State Representative Kaliher. 
State Representative Tim Mahoney. And Senator John Hoffman is here as well. I also would like to acknowledge, thank you. All right, I think that's better. I also would like, yeah, let's give it up for the sound man. Thank you very much. I also would certainly like to acknowledge someone who worked very hard to make this day a reality, and that is our St. Paul Parks and Rec director, Mike Hom. And as I look into the audience, I also see one of our St. Paul School Board members, Mary Vanderwoord, here. Thank you for being here as well. So you see how important this is to us. And this carries forward a tradition that was begun by a predecessor and mentor of mine, St. Paul Mayor George Latimer. It carries on a vision for this pavilion that was built under the, uh, the leadership of a good friend and mentor of mine, former Mayor Chris Coleman. And I'm honored to carry forward, I'm breaking, I'm honored to carry forward this tradition. This is a vision that continues to strengthen the bond between our communities. It started 40 years ago with the between China and the United States <laughs> and has blossomed into this incredible 31-year sister city relationship. It's offered the opportunity for us to share St. Paul's rich cultural heritage while learning about Changsha's rich cultural heritage as well. Today we mark another milestone in our relationship with the opening of this China Friendship Garden, a vision that began more than a decade ago. And with that, I'd like to share this proclamation. This is a City of St. Paul official proclamation. It says, whereas 2019 marks the 30th, 31st anniversary of the sister city relationship between the City of St. Paul and the City of Shangsha, Hunan Province, China, as well as the fourth anniversary of the sister park relationship between St. Paul's Phelan Regional Park and Shangsha's Yanghu Wetlands Park. And whereas 2019 also marks the 40th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the United States. And whereas the sister city relationship has been supported and fostered by the U.S.-China People's Friendship Association, Minnesota chapter, since its inception, and whereas the Minnesota-China Friendship Garden Society, a sister organization of the U.S.-China People's Friendship Association, has worked tirelessly with both cities to create this relationship and this garden. And whereas last year was the first exchange of sister city gifts, which included the beautiful Changchang Pavilion installed at Phelan and the set of five custom painted peanut statues. And whereas construction of this pavilion, Hmong Heritage Wall, and West Entrance Archway has been completed, and the city and the Garden Society will celebrate the grand opening of the China Friendship Garden with a ribbon cutting ceremony today, July 13, 2019, with dignitaries in assistance from in attendance from both sister cities. Now, therefore, I, Melvin Carter, Mayor of the City of St. Paul, do hereby proclaim today, Saturday, July 13th, 2019, to be Shangsha St. Paul Sister City Day in the City of St. Paul. Thank you very much. Distinguished Mayor Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Shenxia时节，我们相聚在美丽的圣保罗市，共同见证圣保罗长沙友好花园隆重节目，回顾两市结好三十一年以来的友好的情谊。In this prime day of summer, we are very honored to be here in Fallon Park to celebrate the grand opening ceremony of Chinese Garden here in St. Paul and to review the 31 years of friendship between our two cities.
向圣保罗长沙友好花园节目仪式的成功举办表示热烈的祝贺，向长期以来关心和支持长沙与圣保罗两市之间友好交交往的各界人士表示衷心的感谢。Interested by the party secretary of CPC Changsha Committee, Mr. Hu Henhua, and the mayor of Changsha, Mr. Hu Zhongxiong, and on behalf of Changsha Municipal People's Government, I'd like to extend a warm congratulations to the successful convening of this grand opening ceremony, and to extend our gratitude to all the people from all communities who have cared about and supported the friendship and re the friendship relations between our two cities. Thank you. Thank you. In 2015, the Yanghu Wetland Park from Changsha has established the sister parks relations with Fallon Park of St. Paul. And the two parks made a deal for a gift of exchange that will be permanently replaced in each other's parks that will also own the characteristics of each city. And this exchange of gifts will serve as a token of friends between the two cities. In 2018, on March 2018, five Snoopy dogs from St. Paul were sent to Yanghu Wetland Park and it was warmly welcomed and received by the people of Changsha and I am one of the huge fans of it. Thank you very much. 同年五月，长沙市赠送的以中国四大名亭之一的爱晚亭为模型，由湖南建科园林有限公司建造的香江亭，在我们的圣保罗飞轮公园落成，并于今天呢节目剪彩。On May 2018, and the Changsha Yanghu Wetland Park has sent this Xiangjiang Pavilion to the city of Saint Paul, and it was actually served as the token of friendship and copied the model of Ai Wan Ting, which is one of the four uh, famous pavilions in China. Actually, I can serve as a proof that this pavilion is exactly the same as the I Wan Ting because I Wan Ting is located in Hunan College and I was a student there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And engraved on this pavilion set the poems that has uh, testified the profound friendship between our two cities, between our two peoples. The friendship between China and America derives from the local communities and derives from the people-to-people -people exchange. 未来我们期待长沙与圣保罗两市继续加强在经贸、人文、教育以及更为广泛的领域的合作。Looking ahead to the future, Changsha hopes to establish more profound economic, trade, people-to-people, -people, education, cooperation relations with the city of St. Paul. 为中美 by doing that, we hope jointly we can contribute to the friendship between China and America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to my district. Welcome to my, my district, uh, uh, Yuan Da Ren. Welcome. And 
Zhang Xiaojie, welcome. Um, and Mitsumir Carter, welcome. And Representative Mahoney, uh, Representative Herb, and uh, all the dignitaries that are here with us. Uh, Senator Hoffman, right behind me, working part. I always joke that he's the month center on the East Side Center here. Yeah, so, um, so hello everyone, and Ya Zhong, Ni Hao, Da Jia Ren. Thank you for joining us at this auspicious event. I hope you have, a whole year has come around from our groundbreaking last year to today, where we now have the I Wang Ting, or the Love, Late Lovers Pavilion, as translated, in Hmong with Shilu Tao Long, Lu Jin here as the backdrop of a beautiful Wolo Bank landscape. Thank you from the bottom of my heart with sincerity to everyone that have been part of this phase one construction of our St. Paul Changsha Friendship Garden. Our cultural community partnership will continue onward to the Hmong Culture Plaza as our next phase. And this year we have secured $400,000 uh, of legacy dollars from arts and culture to build the Hmong Culture Plaza on my right here. One more time, I call out with gratitude to the indigenous people and their ancestor, the original caretaker of this land for keeping this place in harmony with nature and now harmonious with wetlands on the other side of the world. This is a blessing in disguise. As I proclaimed before, that fate has brought the Friendship Garden here to the East Side St. Paul where it has historically been home for many groups of immigrants. And now it is home for the largest Hmong American community in Minnesota. As a Minnesota State Senator of Hmong descent, I cannot be more content to have this ancient replicate of peace and tranquility made from the homeland of our ancestors to be placed here in the district that I represent. We all know that over 240 years ago, my Hmong ancestor left China to Laos in our own trail of tears. And we all know that our small group of people have survived through the recent conflict of the Southeast Asia to be here in the great land of opportunity, the United States of America. And now we settle in the land of clear blue water, Minnesota, as named by our Lakota family. Today we are cultural, the cultural fabric of St. Paul and among the stewards and caretaker of this lake and this land. Our progress for all will be determined by our principle-driven leadership, our cultural collaboration, our pursuit of education, and economic investment. While the meaning of this friendship garden varies from one person to another, I for one see her as a knowledge gateway between our two sister cities, St. Paul and Changsha. We have so much to learn from each other to strengthen our relationship and our social economic growth, as well as giving our children, our children the possibility to see beyond our current surrounding. As I say before, that fate brought this friendship garden to the east side. So allow me to be metaphorical for a moment. That what is the chance, what is the chance of a stone from the same block that was carved into the sculpture of civil rights leaders, Martin Luther King Jr. The man who said, I have a dream. What is the chance of that? What is the chance of that split rock landed here in the East Side St. Paul and turned into a beautiful face of meditation right over there? It was this meditation sculpture that progresses to the I Wang Ting Pavilion and the Friendship Garden that we are here to celebrate 
their completion. It's so beautiful to see all of you, people from walks of life, from all cultures, from all ethnicity, to celebrate here together. The many progression of Chinese American from the early 1900 to today and to the new American among us with the Hmong Americans. And also the European descent as well. Here in the east side, we are proud of our green space, our park and recreation area, our diversity of people, our hardworking families, and our pride of helping others in needs. Although America is still far from Dr. King's dream and the East Side, St. Paul may be an example of that inequity. Let's not be discouraged, but remain hopeful. We will grow together. We will grow together as a multi -community, multicultural community with our surrounding and hope that you and everyone will come along and grow with us here in the East Side St. Paul. When you are here at this friendship garden, may you find peace and tranquility. May you also find love and hope and comfort. And may all who come here come for friendship and unity. And lastly, on a happy note, may God bless our two sister city and may God bless our new shelter and our everlasting heritage wall in the back. And may God bless America. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.